Parker, come and see this. Coming. <laughs> I see this. What happened? Breaking news. Our city is having a water and energy crisis. Water supply is running low in Riverburn, Maryland. Now we're going live to a reporter in front of the office of WSSC. Good morning, viewers. We are here live in Ruhrberg, Maryland. We are trying to solve a big problem here. But here's the thing. Whenever I go to the sink and turn on the faucet, I always get clean water. And whenever I turn on the lights, I always get energy. I see there is a worldwide concern about water and energy shortage, but is that true? Let's go to some professionals to give us more information about the water and energy crisis. The same amount of water that existed when the dinosaurs walked is the same amount of water we have now because of the water cycle. And as you probably know, water falls down to the ground, evaporates, becomes a part of a cloud, falls down it again, over and over again. But we have more uses for water, we have more people, and so with more uses and more people, we have less and less water for us to for everybody to eat a little bit the le a less of a share for it. All of a sudden, this is feels guilty and has a flashback to when he was younger and his misuse of water and energy. When he comes back from his flashback, he tells his mom that he wants to change. Not just himself or the people in his town, but everyone in the world. So he starts by turning off the water and light running in his bathroom. He gathers his two best friends and goes out to the community. All right, you can save energy by keeping the doors closed when the heat is on during heating season. The lights in the school are on a sensors so it can help save energy. Okay, we can serve water by having um, timers on our water fountains in the bathroom and the sink uh, so that when a child is washing his hand or her hand, when they press the button, the water comes on and say for a certain amount of time, then it cuts off in immediately. This is going to blow many of you away, but if I were to stop eating dead animal flesh for a year, I stop the consumption or the slaughtering of 95 animals. Right now, the planet is suffering as a result of our overconsumption of dead animal flesh. They are trying to reduce water going to a stream behind our school by cleaning up exposed sewer pumps and degrading pipes. They are also trying to stop erosion from happening that is taking the habitat away from animals. We have to live here. This is our community. All this the waterways, all the runoff from your roofs, all the runoff from your school, all the runoff from your parking lot doesn't go into a sewer. It goes into the waterways and eventually it finds its way into the Chesapeake. One by one, they changed their ways. They knew that if they wanted to conserve water and energy, they had to spread the news. The news got so big that everyone in the world started talking about it, and even the President of the United States of America. Spencer also started a group called Water and Energy, Our Friends. Oh. Spencer even won a Nobel Peace Prize for changing the world one by one for the better and making people aware of water and energy shortage, and he and his friends returned home. Good afternoon viewers, we're here at the White House where President Barack Obama is going to award Spencer for his work on conserving water and energy, and for having his ideas reach all over the world. Water and energy are friends!